Wait, on a two, how are we doing? On a two, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three. A one, two, three. Yeah, okay. that's the way to okay. do it. Okay. 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 It's the first time we've had a guest lead us okay. to a dance number. She's a choreographer, <laughs> that's why. All right, from Crazy as Girlfriend, we've got Gabrielle Ruiz here. How are you, darling? Hey, I'm so good. Yeah. You ready to chit chat with us, honey? Yes, let's chit chat. Okay, three, two, one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You have. What did you tell me? Did you do tear something now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The skirt went up. You have a lot of energy. Oh, thank you. I like the way you cross and uncross your legs. Thank you. Have you ever seen Basic Instinct? Oh my Jesus. Am I supposed to? Why did you have that reaction? I have. No, I know what you're talking about. But she wasn't wearing jeans. She was. You're the one that had the Basic Instinct moment right now. Right now? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. I can't talk anymore. Yeah, tranquila. Let's keep on with the show. Anyhow. Go. Dennis, well, we had a clip of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which we keep debating, is it my Crazy Ex-Girlfriend or is it Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? It's one of those titles that people add the word to it. Oh, huh? they want to all the time. It's like <laughs> Sex in the City. It, uh, people say Sex in the City. Yes. The city, right, but they just need to read it, you right. know? I, gotta, I, I, I love the billboards. You gotta read. You know, you gotta read. You just gotta read. Just gotta read. But, anyway, but the situation's yeah. a lot more nuanced than that, and that's what they say in the show. Yeah. It's, it's a play on of thinking, like, is it my Crazy Ex? Am I crazy? What's crazy? Right. Who's so crazy? <laughs> Who's the crazy, Who's the crazy one? It depends on which season you watch. Oh, I think everybody right? is somehow oh, crazy oh, on that everybody's show. Everybody's a little bit crazy. A little well, bit crazy, yeah. Tell us about your role. Well, I play Valencia Perez, Ooh. yes, and she, depending on what season you watch, is it a girlfriend or an ex-girlfriend. Oh. And she is a yoga instructor, an entrepreneur, and she's very like strong-willed and mm. loves really, really hard. Yes. And she's also a frenemy that becomes uh -huh. that <laughs> becomes a lot more of a stronger relationship with uh, Rachel Bloom's role, wow. Rebecca Bunch. So she has evolved, you guys. She just has evolved throughout the seasons of being an enemy, a frenemy, and then someone who loves so hard and doesn't know how to like have girlfriends and like learns how to do that and and be around different people that she's never been around Social and in her, skills. Own, in her own hometown. Yeah. Do you it's see um, parallels in your own life to her? Or like I feel your... like Valencia, I channel my older sister. Oh, wow. Have She's you told your older bossy. sister about this? Yes, but she won't accept it. She won't accept it. But I'm like, it's kind of you, just like very bossy and honest. Wow. Yes, I love you. Is this the conversation Whoa. that happens over Thanksgiving dinner? Like Chris no, Brutal. over the phone. Over the phone. We talk about oh, it all the time. Wow. She knows. <laughs> She knows, she's very proud. This text like, oh my god, you're terrible. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> now, I know people love the show, they think it's hilarious, but just to get into the show, I mean, you gotta be a triple threat just like you. Tell us a little oh, bit about you. your background and who recommended you yes. for this show. Yes, I come oh, from shit. the Broadway world. Okay. I've done musical theater all, most of my life and my career. And uh, my first Broadway show, my debut, was In the Heights with Lynn manuel oh, Miranda. Nice. I love that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why the two, Salsa right. on the Two. Oh, right? Okay. Right? Yeah. So um, Lynn manuel uh, Miranda and his team, Alex Lacamoire, they they were reached out to to see if they knew anybody, if they knew anybody that they could recommend for the show, Triple Threat, Latinas, and I was on their list. Wow. So I feel very, I feel very honored, but also they're just, they're such wonderful people to see where they are now from when I, you know, knew them with their success then and where it is now, it's just so nice to see. And when I see him at parties and stuff, he's wow. like, Gabby, I watch your show! And I'm like, so when? Nice. Yeah. You have a baby! Wow. You're having a Do you show and I'm like, you watch it. Are you quizzing him wow. to make sure that he watches it and not just being polite? I should, I should. What's Rachel Bloom like? I, you know, I've, I've seen her, you know, throughout the years and, and now she's the executive producer of the show and she's, you know, she's one of the, the, the shot callers. Yeah. So what is she like as the showrunner? Because she's the showrunner, right? She is the showrunner yeah. with Aline Brosh McKenna mm -hmm. and Aline was basically just, you know, uh, spending time on YouTube and procrastinating writing, and she fell in love with Rachel Bloom on YouTube when mm. she was just a YouTube oh sensation, right? Oh, wow. And that's where, you know, Rachel just that's blossomed amazing. in her career and became famous. So with working with both of them and with working with Rachel, who was also acting and editing and writing music in the makeup and hair trailer My while goodness. she's getting ready, the, the one time I see her rest is like, she's just kind of like asleep while she's getting her makeup done. <laughs> and like, she somehow like engages her neck while she's asleep. Because I don't know about you guys, when you sit and like sleep sitting up, in like makeup, I, I can't do, well, I can't sleep like, on the plane, I you know? I can't either, like it's it like, just how do you... hurts and my neck is killing yeah. me. She can do it. Oh, wow. So that impresses me. Okay. Nothing else though. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> She is a rock star. She she's a woman who knows what she wants. Okay. She is giving, and then even when she is like 
doing interviews in between takes and talking about future productions of the shows and whatnot. She is so with you one on one right. in serious scenes or intimate scenes and just so present. So we've been doing a few. She's been doing a few like sketch comedy shows live, and she's asked a few of us to be some guest stars and to nice. see her in that element, yeah. where she is just doing stand up and yes. singing and acting, and like gets this fourteen hundred. Cr- uh, theater of a crowd right. just on their feet and laughing and loving. It's just so nice to see that she is truly a rock star. That's amazing. You have great hair. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, I love all these colors. Thank you so much. I went for it. New year, new me, you know? You I never just told you that on the break. Yes. That's amazing. Oh, yes. Thanks. And it's really cool. <laughs> now, in between. And when you part it, like it's pink, it's like more purple on other sides. Oh. Doesn't she remind you, know? you of Vivi Tomasi? <gasps> Slightly. There's something like that. We, the have, a, we have the whole of another show here called Get It Girl, and you guys have the same spirit and personality, oh. but your hair is darker. I'll I think that you'd beat her in CrossFit, though. She oh dances too. She won't stop dancing. God, Tell us about this CrossFit experience. Are you yes. a virgo? No, I'm a Sagittarian. Ooh. Oh. Why? <laughs> We he always like whenever it's a fire sign. Whenever it's a fire sign, we're, we all go. Ooh. Oh, is that is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> Where are you? What was your about? I'm Aquarius. I'm an air sign. So, but why do you when I when she said Sagittarius? Because well, I like to go with the flow, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> now he's being on the hot seat. So, you met your husband on Match.com. I did. Oh, because I told him that I just opened Bumble, so we I kind of want to get an inside you know How's an inside going? scoop on this. By the way, I'm gonna stop flirting with you now because I found oh. out that you're married. So go ahead and talk to Vivian. Isn't it pretty though? Isn't it pretty right? <laughs> no, but like music? it's a great story because it's one of those you know when we're talking about how it's usually like just. You know, the hookup or the having fun, and Bruni was also <laughs> saying that it's like a little uh, to be online dating. I mm-hmm. kind of didn't want to mm-hmm. do it, now I'm doing it. And then you found your soulmate in there. Well, I just was ready to stop dating actors. Why? Actors who date uh, actors is not a good now idea. Listen, I had lots of fun. I love, you know, I'm, I, we were talking about being ex-girlfriends. I'm a saint of an ex-girlfriend. Me mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. After a few years, we're friends. It's all good. It's all peaceful. Sure. But just like with my time and my schedule, like the only people I was meeting was in during work, which was my business, right. which was acting and, and doing theater. So I just wanted to like break the routine up a little Got bit. It. I'm not the kind of girl that likes to meet people at bars. Like I'm so full of it. Like okay. I go to a bar and I'm sitting there like trying to make eye contact with people and then the guy comes up to me and I'm like, I can't talk to you. I'm so <laughs> and I just become so full of it. So wait, 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 no, no, no. You're gonna finish that because we need to go to commercial <laughs> yeah. and I was like really intimidated at cutting you off but I know you're gonna forgive me because we're gonna be back with another block here with Gabrielle Reese. No, right here on the zoo. All right, we're back. Wait, before you guys go on a date with each other, let's finish the story. Go yeah. on, go on. She's married. No, I'm, finish the story. No, because I want to. Oh. Because you know what it is. I want. I want to know how this went down. Because I wouldn't mind like a, like another version of you, like like a version of you that 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 is not an actress. Because you know how you don't want to date actors. Don't date, yeah. I know. I don't know that I can handle an actress. You no, know, really? it's, it's nice to talk about something else. But finish. Right? The st- you know what I mean? Every when you go home, all. when you go home. Not only <laughs> that, I mean, the, the schedule thing, and then it's also this part of the, the actor's life where, I don't know, I, I to me, it's always unstable in mm-hmm. a way. You right. never know what's coming. So if I have that already in my life, and then the other person I wish stability. the other person had a little stability. Some stability. You need to find an different. accountant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, to finish the wait, story. So, wait, wait, wait. She has it because I cut her off and then I sent it to oh, commercial. Okay. I feel bad. So, you you, you were like this. The, the, right, you were part so of the story yeah, that yeah, you were doing this. Of, I'm full of it at the bar, right? Okay, so, I didn't want to meet people at the bar. It's just not my jam. It's right. not my jam. So, I got <laughs> online and I tried Christian Mingle first. Right. Christian Christian Mingle? I'm a Christian. <laughs> she wanted so to be a church man. It had, the title just sold me. I was okay. like, done. And then I was like, it was... I'm not gonna go there. And so then eHarmony. <laughs> so then eHarmony. I went on eHarmony because it's also kind of like the one that you wouldn't go there is OK Cupid. No, I don't know. That's bad, I, right? I don't know. I mean, okay. I know people that have either gotten married or found their mates on all forums wow. of like even like Grindr. Oh, Grindr! Oh, Grindr. oh, oh my God! So I'm so happy. married yes. off of Grindr. <laughs> Craigslist, no, anybody? <laughs> Back in the day, back in the day, before smartphones, it was Craigslist. Yeah, right. But, um, wow. So, so I got on eHarmony, and, and then I got eHarmony. It was too slow on eHarmony for okay. me because I was in New York. I was on New York oh. Speed, and apparently, like my destiny was in Ohio. I'm not doing Ooh, that. Oh no, honey, and that's so, too far. I know, Wait, they like, give you a destiny? Well, like your person, would your you match. move for love? And I said, no, I'm gonna stay in New York. Right, that's of where course. My, right? Yeah. It's no brainer. And so I got on Match, and that one you have to pay for. And Ooh. I feel like you do get your money's worth, or at okay. least I did. And Good it was my second day. Date and my husband's a lighting designer, so we had a few things in common. Okay. But we both, he lit actually a Super Bowl party that I was performing at, and we didn't meet that day, which is so funny. Interesting, but did he remember you? 
Um, we were texting at that point, but I just remember showing him a, an image of the light of the room all lit up. I was like, look, this is your work. And he was like, thank you so much for sending this to me. I have to fire the guy that lit oh. the place because he changed it all. Okay. So before even meeting him, I helped him get someone fired. Ah, damn. Oh, you have a great so sense of humor. Crazy. <laughs> now, it was funny to me. Were it's you dating to me him too. before or after or during what? your kiss with Ricky Martin? <gasps> Wait, where did you kiss Ricky Martin? It hmm. was before. You before. kissed Ricky Martin? And I was dating someone then. But oh, you were not. dating somebody then? Oh my gosh, how did, how did you mean? Why are you getting all hot? Didn't you say that, that, that you're not turned on by gay guys? If you know guys gay, I am not turned you... on. I am impressed. Well, was he out would, you, would you get turned on by kissing yes. He was? Okay, I don't, I don't know what year this was. Well, it was... But he's hot. I mean, and we he's... Were, Super yeah. nice. We were doing Evita on okay. Broadway together. Right. Mm. And I. Um, Did you play Evita? No, I was in the ensemble. And you um, should have played Evita. Well, thank you. I will get. We will do that one day. <laughs> but um, the character that I was I was replacing, someone was leaving for another show, and so you have to learn the on stageography. You have to learn the off stageography, is what we call it, and all the behind the scenes. So to prepare for the show, the entire cast is on stage, getting ready for the curtain to raise for the beginning of the show. And Sydney, who I was replacing, right. kisses Ricky Martin on the cheek. And they're like, have a good show, Poppy. Have a good show. Mwah, mwah. And I was like, OK, we kiss Ricky Martin on the cheek. Great. We do that every night. That's Got it. it. Only yes. on the cheek? Only on the cheek. Oh, he man. Smells, he smells so good. Oh, good but that was not even part of the script. Like, no, no. It was and like right it. before the show, and I made it a tradition. That was part of the show prep. That, that is high so standards. Cool. My traditions are very high. I love it's it. Like Earlier in the show, we were talking about haters. We were. How do you deal with haters? I love them. Just gotta love the hell out yeah. of them. Thank you. Know I mean? you. Because? Yes. I like, gotta I love like, the hell I like, out I like the conviction you have yes. in your Yes. Yes. Where'd you grow up? In Texas? South Texas. With what's, a lot of haters. What's that like? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? You know, coming from a very heavy Latino culture that right. was not necessarily like, it was very Mexican, but also Texan and Southern. So you get the Southern mix of mm. tradition and like, you know, there's a lot of, of they, it's, sta it's standards, like it's just different kind of standards. So I came from a culture that I feel women were very, just very competitive, which is really? now considered old school, especially where we are in this environment with women in the media and, right. you know, girl, you know, me too, all the hashtag. I think that's changing, stuff. It's no? changed so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it came from like women to women, it just wasn't very as positively supportive as you want it. So when people were supportive, it was kind of scary or you didn't know what, you're like, what do you, what does that mean? Ah. Like it just was never considered mm. sincere. Suspic yeah. You're suspicious of support. It's yeah. if you're not used to so it. So it always confused me, and I was always trying to just like you know promote sincerity. <laughs> Let's all just like support awesome. each other. And if you're if you come in second place or something, it's fine. We're That's all the same team. That's why you're successful. I mean, I don't oh, know about all the you. others, and I don't right. care. But like this kind of mindset, I feel, is what gets you ahead in life. Yes. Because it's about sharing. It's not about you know, se trata de compartir y no de competir, mm -hmm. as I say in Spanish. Exactly. Well, so, I'm an only child, that's so that's a little very... bit hard for me to digest. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, I did come back. I did come, I did go back to Texas and did some um, arts advocacy work and whatnot, and it's been completely changed from when I remember being in high school. So it's it's very inspiring. How does the song yeah. go? Um, when the stars at night are big, big and, and bright, bright. Bum, 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 deep, deep in, in the heart of Texas. Texas. I only know that because of the Pee Wee Herman movie. Remember the Pee Wee Herman's Big yes. Adventure? Oh, my goodness. Yes, and we had to learn that song like in elementary school. That's really? like a yes. requirement or something? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what is that? Like is it, a lot the of pride. Texas hymn? Him, him, him. Him. Him, no? National like or or anthem? state anthem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. State anthem. My husband says, "You Texas people, you guys have merchandise. Oh, you guys <laughs> have merch, and it's true. I have a Texas shape waffle maker. I do. I'm very proud of it. Oh my God! I yes. want to get a Texas shape pen. I went to Texas and had a, a cake in, yeah. a, in a form of a yeah. Yeah, we're very proud. In the form proud. of Texas, we're very they're very proud, proud of, of their yeah. of where they're from. Very just, patriotic. I'm go from, big or go home. I'm, I'm from big, Florida, yeah. and every time somebody makes a Florida shaped cake, everyone thinks it's a penis cake. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that kind of game. I mean, no, you love Florida <laughs> cakes. I mean, I think hurricane, but that's also a different kind of shape, so we'll see. No, but like a, the, state, the shape of the state. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you're also, what is that, a master? <laughs> you're a She's master. Like, that was the best reaction to, like, some stupid comment I made that anybody's ever had. She just goes, <laughs> Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, okay. Anyhow. <laughs> Gabrielle, it was a pleasure talking with you. And we could chit-chat here for hours we with could. you. Oh, thank you. But thank you um, so where can they follow me online before we head out? Where? Yes. All over the place at Gabrielle Ruiz. Instagram. I do not do Snapchat. It's yeah. like, really? Forget about no, no, Snapchat. No, 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 no. Yeah. Do, it's for the youngins. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have great skin. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And Twitter and Facebook. And, you know, we like to live tweet when we um, air nice. our shows on Friday nights. Crazy school for not my Ooh, crazy school. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff.